I cannot believe this. This day will certainly be most known as the day of 69k subscribers. Alright guys, so welcome to another video. So today is the day where we are going to reach 69,000 subscribers. Alright everyone, so yeah. This is just going to be an early celebration because I know we're going to reach it any minute now. So yeah, today is the day of 69k subscribers. Alright, so as promised, we shall give away this albino terra right here. And to join, all you have to do is leave a like, subscribe, join the Discord, become level 10, level 10. And then you'll be in the giveaway. All right, guys, good luck. Yeah, what is up, everyone? So we're back yet again on Dinosaur Simulator. And today we're checking out a bunch of other things, such as some new updates on the winter map and a new competition coming to Dinosaur Simulator. Alright, let's do this. Okay, so coming in at the new contest for Dinosaur Simulator, let me just read this out real quick and I'll show a picture for you guys. Hello everyone, I am here to announce a new contest that Unhatched Games will be holding. I will be setting up all the stuff for this contest within the next day or two but for now, here's the details. This contest will be a map making contest. The winning entry shall be added to DS as a playable map, and the winner will be awarded to be mentioned in a day or so. For now, the rules are below. The rules are map must be a terrain map. Max map size will be 2048 by 2048. Map can only have one water block. Map needs to be organized, users will be required to submit the map as a place file with their username and an image. Blah, 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 blah. Extra information, here's a picture. I'm gonna go read all that. There you go. So yeah, that will be the new map making contest. That will be coming soon here on Dinosaur Simulator. And now time for some awesome leaks, guys. All right. All right, so first leak, we got some new updates for the winter map. Here we have the arch on the bridge. There's a picture over here. As you can see, there's the ice spikes over there. There's the arc over there. And if you guys can see, there's a little Wendigo King over at that side over there. I'll just zoom that in. Also, here's another one. Hot Head has been w working on a cave. And it's looking pretty sweet. Here's the little cave that they're talking about. So that's the cave for the winter map. Here's some more Hot Head Cave over here. So yeah. Also, we got a little more references to Attack on Kaiju, which is over here. I think that the hole with some spikes on it, that's the reference over there. We also have the new cave system updates over here. So yeah, looking forward to all of these updates. Hopefully they don't just overhype it again. And the map just, look, just looks pretty boring and stuff. Hopefully it doesn't get overhyped though. So yeah, here's some more ice info. No, not information. Here's some more ice formation from the cave wall. Here's the spike pit again. Here's some more photos. This is the spike pit, but with some particles on it. I think the particles are the ones with the fog things. Yeah, so the ice pit is going to be pretty, pretty cool. Here's the next picture. 
It's a beautiful picture of the ice map with the northern lights. Wait, is it called northern lights? No wait, it's called Aurora. They call it Aurora, right? So here's the ice map with the Aurora and some ice particles dropping down. Also here's some information about the ice spikes. So apparently, if you drop down to the ice spikes, it means instant death. And here's the statement over here. Just a heads up, because this keeps getting asked, spike pit is equals to certain that it's simple. It's real simple guys, it's dangerous, it will not injure you over time, it will not let you slip between spikes. It is an instant death zone. No dino is gonna survive falling that far into a ravine without spikes, much less one with spikes. Just consider it an environmental factor like weather, be wary of it. So yeah. And the last picture we got here is Hothead Megavore's picture. Here we have some sort of cave system that all dinos can fit in. And here's our statement about it. I've never seen DS have proper massive cave for people all sizes to roam. So here, do not do not worry, it will not be like the cave in Gallus. This one has water. Also, light thing is not final return of Global Blizzaba. So yeah, we have a new cave here. And unlike the Gallus map cave, which is just a horrible cave. It's a cave and it has, how do I say this? Clickbait water. <laughs> So there's water, but you can't drink it. You, f you get it? You get that? Water, but you can't drink it. So yeah. I think there's also uh, caves or places here that you can't drink any water. I think the outer islands doesn't have any water that is drinkable. So yeah, similar to that. So this cave is going to have that water thing. And yeah, that will be it for the leaks. And let's resume our video. Okay, so this time it is time for us to farm. I think we can go to trading now since it's been I think more than 10 days actually since we've been to this account. All right, let's go to trading, boys. Let's see what we can trade. Wait. Let me get some eggs real quick. And then we'll finally go to trading. Should we get plushies? I think we should get plushies. Hey, we got Sora Poseidon plush. What else can we get? Please, late Valentine. Nope. What else? We've been farming for this moment, boys. Let's see what kind of good stuff we can get here. Nope. Just... <sighs> okay, okay. Alright, let's go to trading. Let's see what we can trade out of this stuff that we get. So, trading map. Let's see if we can get some profit out of some people. So yeah, we're in trading now. Hopefully we can get some profit out of this. And I'm looking at this little... Hmm, let's see here. At least something golden. You can at least get some profit out of that. Even a golden coelacanth is good. Should we get a golden coelacanth? <laughs> yeah, I think we should get that. Let's see. 1,000 for 5,000. Let's do this. Wait, who did we send the trade to? Model student. Wait, let's see if we can talk to him. Nope, I think he's AFK. Who's moving? This server's dead. Okay, different once trades. Different. Hmm. I think a Mayhem Spino will be nice as well. Let's send a trade for that. I sent. We sent the trade, boys.
Oh man, he's not noticing us. <laughs> why, 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 why? Come on, man, those are plushies. Come on. Okay, he's that type of guy. Let's see if we can get some more offers here. How about. Hmm. I need someone that moves. What about this guy? Who's this? Auto. 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 Nah, he's got glasses. Those are free. <laughs> no! Why are you guys just keep looking for Megavores? Don't look for Megavore if you have noob stuff. You have to start small. Or else you won't get big, okay? There's no easy way on getting Megavore. Unless if you want giveaways. Chances of that will be pretty slim to none though. How about a golden... Orny? Golden Orny. How about... Let's see what we can get here. Let's ask them for trip. Oh, this guy's just laughing at me. I don't know why. Why are you? What are you laughing at? Right. So lesson learned. I think plushies is going to be a bad investment in terms of DNA. So I don't recommend getting plushies right now because nobody even offers for plushies anymore. I guess we may have over wait I guess we may have underestimated some of the DS players all right so uh, next video next trading video we'll get some more DNA and hopefully buy some more eggs that are worth it so that we can actually trade for something Alright guys, so that will be it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Oh hey, another bacon. So yeah, that will be it for this video. And I will see you all next time. Goodbye.